Hi guys! Welcome to another video of my How to Be a Third Mate series. For today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do annual fire hose test. And this afternoon, my junior third officer, Anton, will be helping me do the job. So, let's start! The guidelines for the maintenance and inspection of fire protection systems and appliances can be found in MSC.1 Circular 1432 which states that for our annual testing and inspection of our fire hoses, we should do a pressure test at the maximum fire main pressure. That is our main objective for today. What's the first step? The first step is of course to check the, invent the present inventory of our firefighting equipment. So for today, we're going to test and check the fire hoses and nozzles in each fire box around the ship. Okay. So the purpose of this is so that you'd be able to check if all 51 fire hoses laid out outside. So we'll check all of Step 2 is you have to double check the last annual record. Our last one was at 2020 January 2 to 3. Okay, so our annual inspection is actually due, so we have to we have to renew it. Carry it out. Okay, right. so are we ready? Ready. Are you ready to go out? I'm ready for love. <laughs> All right, we're going to go out to the outside. Bye-bye. Okay, so right now, JR and me are going to split up and check all the fire hose boxes and fire hose reels if all the fire hoses are actually laid out on. So we started checking the location of all the fire hoses on board from the engine room to the under deck to the main deck and accommodation area. So once everything was confirmed that all are laid out on deck, then we started to go out and start our annual hose test. Now that all fire hoses are laid out on deck, the strategy for our annual fire hose test is to connect the fire hoses in one line. The end will be connected to a fire hydrant forward while the other end will be connected to a nozzle aft which will be tied and secured. With all 51 fire hoses, we will have to prepare at least 6 fire hydrants and nozzles. Now we start connecting fire hose to fire hose. Then we connect one end of the fire hoses to the nozzle. Then we secure the fire nozzle or tie it at the aft part. Then we connect the other end of the fire hoses to the fire hydrant. Do not forget to close the isolation valves so that you can get the maximum pressure. Now everything is ready and we can now start our emergency fire pump. It's time to visually check our fire hoses, nozzles, and hydrants, and check for any leaks or any damages. Now 
now we check the fire hoses and the connections individually. We should check for leaks on the connection and any possible damages on the fire hoses itself. Findings like these leak in the connection of the fire hoses should be noted. This might be due to a worn out gasket. Lift the pressurized fire hose as much as possible so you can check if there are any leaks or damages on it. Pressure of your fire main output or the emergency fire pump if it is according to SOLAS regulations. According to our inspection, this one is leaking. Not really leaking, but the gasket is already thin. So we, I think we have to change the gasket for this one. Then we'll try and test it again and see if the leakage is already rectified. So let's place a marking on this one so that I will not forget. So, at least we found something on our Anwa. So right now, all that is left to do is secure the hoses and bring them back to their designated area so that it will be ready for use anytime in case of emergency. So let's go! Never forget to wash your fire hoses after the test so that the excess salt will be removed so as to avoid damage during storage. Also, the hoses should be sun dry before you store it back to its fire hose box or reel. Make sure to turn the fire hose, the fire nozzle, and the spanners inside your fire hose box and secure. Okay, so now we are done with our annual fire hose test. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked my video, don't forget to click the like button. 
leave a comment down below of any video that you want me to make for the next for my next video and don't forget to click the subscribe button so you'd be updated on my next videos thank you very much thank you for watching see you in my next video bye